Someone just left all these boxes and pieces of... I'd love to see the Dragonstone in... I wonder what the people chosen as... <sighs> there are a lot of sketchy... Lo a church with a cute girl? Maybe that church on the other side of the shopping district? Finally found it. The church Melty tends to. So, there are churches in this... ...world too, huh? Though I guess they worship dragons instead of gods? Well, whatever. Excuse me! Ah! Uh, uh, Subaru! What are you doing here? Hey, Melty. Long time no see. Well, since yesterday. I was wondering if I could talk to you for a bit. Whoa there, Subaru. That's pretty bold of you. The royal selection may have been postponed, but you're in the middle of enemy territory here. Aren't you being a little careless? Huh? Careless? Oh, well, now that you mention it. Maybe? Come on, did you think through this at all? You need to consider your situation more. Sorry, sorry. But considering you're going out of your way to tell me that, I can assume you guys don't mean me any harm, right? You were very considerate of Melee the other day, too. Ah, uh, good grief, man. <laughs> hmm? What's so funny? N nothing. It's just that you two seem so close. I was admiring how quickly boys can become friends with one another. Close? Us? Oh, come on. Cut it out, Mel. Huh? He and I aren't close. More like we look out for each other on the battlefield. That's all there is to it. We may have been born at separate times, but we die together. Your bond is far greater than I imagined! <laughs> Good one. I wish we weren't so strangely in sync. Anyway, I hope you didn't come here just to mess around. No, I wanted to talk. You know, to exchange some information. Is that so? Then I'll make us some tea. Oh, don't mind me. I'll just take the best tea you've got. How highly do you think of yourself? I see. So neither of us have enough information yet. It hasn't been very long since the royal candidates were gathered, so there still seems to be a great deal of confusion. The only thing we know for sure is how serious everything is, but in any case... I didn't realize you were Melty's knight, Tiga. No wonder you could see through Melee's hood. I'm not all that special. I just happened to stumble my way into this position. If we're talking about pure skill, there's someone far more suited for the job. Tiga, do you really dislike being my knight that much? I know I can be quite the airhead at times, and I'm not as dignified as the others. Not to mention how I got lost just the other day. No, no. You've got it all wrong, Mel. I was just talking about my level of skill, that's all. When it comes to matters of the heart, no one is more worthy of being your knight than me. I want to be your knight. So please, don't sour your f smile for me, Mel. Tiga. Yes, of course. Good. I'm glad. Now, what's with your face, Subaru? Oh, nothing. I was just admiring you, Tiga. My abilities may not be adequate enough, but I refuse to let go of my position. All I need to do is build myself up to reach the appropriate level of someone of my stature. No, not that. I was impressed that you could say something so cheesy with a straight face. Really now? 
I'm kidding, kidding. What you talked about is something I need to learn for myself, too. I'm gonna remember that. So, he refuses to give up, huh? Subaru? I've got the intel I wanted, though I guess this isn't much of an exchange. Either way, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Wait, is that weird of me to say right now? Because we support opposing factions? I'd say it's a bit too late worrying about that now, don't you think? We may be competing with one another for the throne, but there's no need to hate each other in the process. So, um, well, I would be absolutely thrilled if we continued getting along. <sighs> yeah, I feel the same way. I'm sure you spoke to each other yesterday, but I'll let Melee know too. <sighs> yeah, there's no need for us to hate each other. She's completely right about that one. <laughs> morning, Rem. Good morning, Subaru. Did you sleep well? Yeah, like a baby. I might even be able to fly among the clouds. Hmm, I cannot have you flying away. I would not be able to catch up with you if you did. So please travel on foot instead. I'm only kidding. I'm not Roswell, you know. <laughs> now then, where are we off to today? Oh, about that. It's on us to find out who the fake candidate is, seeing as we're the only ones left in the capital. Mm. So long as it does not delay you receiving treatment, then I am all for it. Of course I'll get treated, but I'll be doing other stuff too. So for now, we should be gathering information. Gathering information? Yeah. I want to find out more by going around and asking people some questions. Who knows what we might learn that'll lead us to the imposter. We could start in the shopping district. There's someone I want to talk to there too. Thanks for your business. You're awfully generous today. I never expected you'd stop by so often. You didn't even have a penny to your name that first time. But now look at you. Oh, stop it. No need to bring up those old times together. It'd be a real stab to my heart if my favorite shop closed down because I didn't give it my patronage. If only I had shopped more at that stall with the scary-looking shopkeeper. I don't want to live with such regrets later in my life. That's none of your business. My shop's been through more close calls than you know. I don't need your help to keep it up and run it. Oh, so you haven't always been in the green? Well, I've got plenty of stories about my screw-ups. Like that one time I stocked up on goods that I felt would give me a big payday, but I didn't sell squat. I hear the market is unpredictable and ever-evolving. So reading into trends correctly must be a difficult task. Exactly. The market can unexpectedly change at any minute. Like recently, with the North Passage having been sealed off, if anyone stocked up on merchandise to sell around Gusteco, they'd have taken a huge loss. Huh. I didn't know that. What kind of stuff sells over in Gusteco? Ooh, that place is rough. Pretty much everything has some kind of value over there. But right now... I think oil is the best seller. Right. You could burn it and use it for cooking or something. Makes sense it's so valuable. Some folks even make a business out of buying up items at a steep discount from merchants who stocked up on the wrong goods. Sounds like a tough economy. Yeah. Both sides kind of depend on each other. So, if your business ever fails, let me know. I know some people who might be able to help. I don't even want to think about that. Is this person someone who helped you out too? Yeah, someone I met through my wife's family. Acted as a mediator for me when I needed it. It really helped me out in the end. Oh yeah, your wife did have this sort of elegant vibe to her. She seemed like a gentle and kind person. Huh? Have you met her before? You could say that. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. 
Wait, so you're not here to buy any of my appas? Sorry, I've come for another reason today. I need to gather some intel, and you're the first person that popped into my head. Being a merchant and all, I thought you'd be privy to some rumors that might be floating around. Luckily for us, you seem to be pretty bored. So, do you mind dishing out what you got? I don't get why you'd think I'm bored, but I do have some downtime. So, what do you want to know? Sorry, bud. I'd probably be more helpful if you explained your situation. I'm sorry, too. That's just how complicated it is. And I'm honestly not sure how much more I can say. Judging by that look of yours, I figure you're somehow involved in the royal selection. Did something happen? That's... classified. Seriously, you're better off not asking. Sorry, I gotta get going. Thanks for hearing me out. Alright, come back soon. And you, young lady, you're most welcome anytime. Yes, thank you. I shall return with Subaru again. Man, with him again, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Subaru, do you have a moment? Rim? Oh, sorry. My mind wanders when I do yoga like this. What's up? Sir Reinhard van Estrella is here to see you. He's here? For me? Yes. Would you like me to let him in? Yeah, please. Hello, Subaru. Sorry for my late visit. Don't worry about it. But what's this all of a sudden? Knowing you, I figured you wouldn't sit still being left in the royal capital. You seem to know me pretty well. I do consider us friends, after all. In any case, it seems we both have a bit of an issue on our hands. So I thought we could benefit from a mutual exchange of information. Exchange information, huh? I don't really have much to share, though, just so you know. That's fine. Just opening up a discussion could lead to new realizations. How are you so nice? Okay then, guess I'll start. I see. I think I understand Melty a little more now. There was that get-together the other day too. I would greatly prefer to be on good terms with her camp, including that night of hers, Tiga. What about things on your end? Has Felt been staying put? She's not roaming around by herself, is she? She's not the type to sit idly by no matter what I say. She also has her own way of doing things as well. So she is roaming around by herself? Are you sure you should let her do that? If she ends up in any sort of trouble... Not to worry. Should anything befall her, I will rush to her side. It's crazy how reassuring you make that sound. That's not mentioning how quick-witted Miss Felt is in her own right. Should she ever find herself in trouble, I know she'll find a way out of it. I don't know if you should place all your faith in her like that. I will consider your words of caution. And what of the other camps? Regarding Miss Cruchet, Miss Anastasia, and Miss Priscilla, that is. Ferris, Cruchet's knight, has been tending to me every so often. I don't know much about Priscilla. Well, besides the fact that she snuffed me out of the appas I was trying to buy. Appas? Yeah. I wasn't able to buy any since she bought out the whole freaking place. <laughs> That's still quite impressive that you managed to get close to even Miss Priscilla. Come on, don't say that. I really feel like she's the most suspicious person out of all the candidates right now. As for... Anastasia, was it? Her knight, Julius? I really hate that guy. <laughs> it 
It's certainly like you to be blunt about your feelings. It's true that Julius tends to give off a certain impression upon first meeting him. But if you try talking things through, I'm sure you'll have a better understanding of his character. So, how about it? Would you be willing to give it a try? Uh, I guess if the opportunity presents itself, I'll think about it. But we can't really be all buddy-buddy with one another, right? Even if it's proven that the candidates we support are the real deal, we'd still be enemies. Things only get more difficult when you're too friendly with your opponent. Subaru. But I understand that we don't have to hate each other in the process. That's right. I think that's a good way to look at it. It's just a little something I learned from someone. But I do think there's a lot of truth to it. Thanks for taking the time to stop by tonight, Reinhardt. Well then, Subaru. As we discussed, I will be heading to Miss Crochet's mansion now. Oh yeah, you've got some things to take care of, right? Let's meet up over there after I get my treatment. Yes, I will see you then. Please remember to not do anything rash, Subaru. Nah, I won't cause you any trouble. Don't you worry. You will always be on my mind, Subaru. Don't think about me so much. You're such a worrywart, you know? Well, I did promise Rem not to do anything stupid. That leaves me with... Oh, Subaru, you're back again. Hey, now, that's no way to greet a friend. How can you get tired of seeing this face every day? You shouldn't really indulge yourself like that. I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings by telling you otherwise. Ah, uh, Subaru, thank you for coming. Hey, Melty, Tika's picking on me. Hey, Subaru, you... Come now, Tiga. You shouldn't treat our guests like that. It's not very nice of you. Uh, if you say so, Mel. Welcome, Subaru. When do you plan on leaving? You should look up what welcome means in the dictionary. <sighs> Is that... Hmm? Oh. Aren't you the boy with Miss Amelia? Coming all the way out here. Have you decided to side against her and join Melty? No way! What kind of logic is that? No one can replace Melee, you hear? I I'm sorry, I'm not very helpful. How does that fit into this? Subaru, just what do you think you're doing, making Mel feel down like this? Don't you join in on this too! Now I'm starting to feel bad! It's only a joke. You seem to be getting along with Tiga and Melty quite well already. Why don't you defect and join us? S sakura isn't asking him to defect coming on too strong? Though, it would be very reassuring to have Subaru on our side. He's the one who defeated the Dusk Bandits, you know? Well, it's like I said before. I can't take all the credit for that. Neely is the one who did most of the work. Well, her and Rem. But I certainly won't dismiss any praise. Sounds like he's turned you down, Mel. Subaru's loyalty toward Miss Amelia is quite impressive. Or perhaps it's not entirely loyalty that drives him. Don't pick on me for being so pure of heart, all right? But you're right. Neely's the only one for me. So while I appreciate the offer, I won't budge on that. That's a shame. Uh, but, but your attitude is commendable. But really, it is quite a shame. Uh, no, I must respect his decision. Melty is quite the busybody with her emotions. Totally unrelated, but why did you and Sakura go to Roswell's manor as emissaries that one day, Tiga? You two aren't from the castle, right? I was just thinking of how unusual that was. Well, the answer's actually pretty simple. We wanted to, so we volunteered. You volunteered? But why? 
another simple answer. Being from the six candidates' camp, we had a late start compared to the other parties. We wanted to gain as much information on the other parties as possible. That's why we jumped at the chance to get in touch with each of them. Oh, I see. That makes sense when you put it that way. So that means you guys... Knew why the royal selection was postponed from the very beginning? Why, yes, of course. Well, having only been informed by emissaries about the delay, I'd been wondering what the reason was this whole time. We've all been pretty confused because we didn't know. Um, I deeply apologize for any trouble we caused over this. Oh no, please, don't worry. Wait, you're not the one I'm holding responsible here, Melty. You didn't even come to the mansion that day. My issue is with the ones who hid that info from us. Please, don't think badly of us. We were ordered not to divulge any details. Ordered? Yes, by the Council of Wise Men. I'm sure they intend to expose the sixth candidate, the Imposter. So they want to find the Imposter while withholding information? Maybe that was their way of trying to weed the fake out. What do you mean? As in, they were expecting you to leak something you shouldn't have known about. You know, since the imposter would be self-aware of their deception. If there really is someone who knows why the royal selection ceremony was delayed, then they'd be the imposter, since that information isn't publicly available. Yes. Unfortunately, that didn't work out so well for the Council of Wise Men, now did it? Yeah, seriously. We have no idea who the imposter's supposed to be right now. True. But I did come to realize something from our conversation just now. It would appear the imposter is not part of Miss Amelia's camp. Huh? What makes you say that? I'm glad you seem to trust us and all that, but... Are you referring to what Subaru said just now? Subaru was able to deduce the Council of Wise Men's true aim. Such information would already be known by the imposter. Of course, it's possible he's only putting on a front. But Subaru doesn't look like the type to be good at hiding information like that. I'm not sure how to feel about that. But you're saying I'm bad at being subtle? Honesty is a virtue. The other candidates seem well-versed in secrecy. Well, I can't argue there. There are many nobles and merchants among them, and they can all be pretty crafty. Uh, I feel so helpless. You need to believe in yourself more, Mel. You're an honored candidate of the royal selection process, just like all the others. As you can see, this is how we are. Knowing this, I'd like to make a proposition. What do you say to working together, Subaru? Working together? We believe you and your faction are trustworthy enough. Do you not feel the same about us? Well, I guess I wouldn't come here so often if I thought you were super suspicious. Then I believe we can work together well. But what are your thoughts, Subaru? I want to say that's not entirely my call to make, but... Melty did treat me to some delicious tea. Does that mean... Yeah, let's combine our efforts and work together. Although the only thing I can offer in exchange is information. Can we start from there? Yes, I think that's more than enough. We don't have any other close connections after all. Close connections? I've heard the rumors. You've been frequenting that house for your treatment. Haven't you? I thought it'd be best to narrow down the list of suspects, beginning with the least suspicious ones. You're talking about Crochet, right? I see. So that's why you guys wanted to get in touch with me. Uh, um, Subaru, you don't have to do anything you're uncomfortable with. Mel? Uh... Thanks for your concern, Melty. But I've already made up my mind. Besides, I'll have to go up against them eventually. I'll do it.
I'm counting on you to retrieve my remains when I fall, Tiga. I take it that's not a good thing. Spying on Cruce, huh? I feel like that makes me seem ungrateful for all that she's done. No, I must do what needs to be done. You seem to have a lot of ups and downs, Natsuki. That voice! Is that you, Anastasia? That's a bit dramatic. What a coincidence seeing you here. Y yeah, a coincidence. Definitely a chance encounter. Well, I'll be off then. I'm as hungry as a tree hippo, so I'll be leaving. Is that right? I was actually about to go eat too. Would you care to join me? Oh, and don't worry, we'll split the bill. I doubt you'd want to owe me anything, right? <clears throat> Feels like she walled off my escape route. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. All right, I'll take you up on your offer. <laughs> Good answer. Well, follow me then. I'll take you to my go-to joint. This place is a real hidden gem. It's one of my all-time faves. Is this really a restaurant? It looks much more like a bar. It's a tavern by night, but it serves regular food during the day. Just trust me and try it out. Trust you, huh? I'll have you know I'm not easily satiated by just any dish. If there are anything short of... <laughs> Amazing! The meat's nice and juicy, creating a modest taste. Coupled with the richness of the sauce, it creates a perfect harmony of flavor. It'd be even more perfect with a side of rice. If they offered unlimited helpings of rice, I'd never leave this place. It's like the ultimate cruise package to Flavorville. I have no idea what that means, but I'm glad you like it. Oh, and don't tell anyone else about this place, okay? I don't want it to get too crowded in here. All right, all right. But would you mind if I brought just two people along? Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. I assume one of them is Miss Amelia? Of course. She's at Roswell's Manor right now. But once she's back in the capital, I'm gonna bring her here first thing. Uh-huh. So, Amelia isn't in town. She needed to inform Roswell of the situation here. I can only imagine how antsy he's gotten waiting to know why the royal selection got delayed. Oh, I guess so. I mean, who knew there'd be a sixth candidate, right? The Council of Wise Men, was it? They could have been more helpful with all of this. If only they told us the reason for the delay from the start. Oh, the Council? I was wondering about that too, but... You seem to know an awful lot about this situation already, Natsuki. Not really. I only found out about their involvement a little bit ago. Apparently, the Council of Wise Men... Phew! Thanks for taking me here. That was really good. Of course. I should thank you too. Hmm? For what? For giving me so much useful information. Uh, did I just get played? If you're asking whether I used you or not, then you shouldn't take it the wrong way. All we did was have a nice little chat. Uh, I don't think I'd brush it off that easily. Anyway, I need to head back for now, since my lunch break is over and all. Wait a sec, Anastasia! I want to get some info out of you, too! <laughs>